Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Josh P and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be recapping MLG Columbus for you guys. Um, I'm specifically going to be looking at my top four prediction and uh, what actually happened. I'm also going over a few key matchups, especially the finals. Um, so what you guys are seeing right on the screen right now is the winner's bracket. Now this was, this was everything after the pools were arranged. So I said my top four was going to be in no particular order. Optic Gaming, Optic Nation, Denial, and Carnage. Now, it did not turn out that way. If you guys look in the loser's bracket, Carnage finished last in Pool D. Um, not really what we wanted, but shit happens, and you can't really control everything. Um, I also wasn't there, so I can't speak for the guys. Uh, I don't know what was going on. Apparently, the matches were really, really close. None of them were on stream, so I couldn't see what was happening. Um... I know the guys tried as hard as they possibly could, and that's all that really matters. So, I mean, I'm still rooting for them, and they're sticking together, so that's good. Now, if you see, they beat Illmatic, who is fearsome, was is on that team, um, and he used to be on Carnage. So that was a tough matchup there for us, especially, like, you hate to play friends. So we beat them 3-1, and then we moved on to play Rise, which this series was amazing. It was on stream. It was the only, only uh, second, uh, the first matchup we played on stream. It was on Bravo stream. Um, and it was amazing. Went down uh, the CTF. I think it was the CTF or was it the uplink? I don't know. Whatever map they played before, map 5, S&D, um, was a comeback. Uh, and then the S&D, we won 6-4, I believe. And Hook had this amazing 1v2. And he ended someone's career. And then I went on a little bit of a Twitter rant about um, Benson and, and Duffman casting and how they were kind of just like disrespecting carnage because we are an am team and like they were like rise should take this easily no hand no no worries like it shouldn't even be a competition and just like every time we made a really good play they're like oh and and hook turns around and gets a two-piece but like rise gets a two-piece and benson's like oh my god pac-man is the greatest player in the history of ever how did he just do th it was just really annoying i mean after the fact it was okay like you know map five they they stopped doing that and like it was an equal amount of hype for both teams. Also, it was a really late match, so I mean, the casters were were just really like really tired, and they wanted to go to bed. So that was basically. And then we played TK and we lost 3-0. Um, I think that was just TK. Like they really, really, really wanted this event. Like they were not going to let Carnage get in their way, um, and and they just you know ran over us. This series was. It was uh, the only th the only map that was close was the S and D. It was six four. Um, and now, what I can say for Carnage going into this, we seemed like we were really, really, really strong at hard point. But I don't think I watched them win a single hard point on stream. Anyway, they didn't win. I don't think they won a hard point. Um, I mean, they won various hard point tournaments online. Um, and like I said, I don't know what was happening at the event. Um, I wasn't there. I, c I can't tell you, guys. I, I cannot critique their gameplay either. I'm not a player. You know, I can't sit here and be an, an analyst when I don't even play the game competitively. I play pubs in Advanced Warfare. I, I haven't even gotten to the game competitively yet. Ghosts, I could say stuff because, I mean, I played a little bit. Um, granted, it was just UMGs. But, I mean, this is a completely different game. And I'm I'm not discrediting the guys at all. They played really well and they placed top 16. Um, it's not where I predicted them, but they placed top 16. Good placing. Very good placing, especially for us. I mean, I think that's our best placing as a team. Um, so they're going to go out to Orlando, which is on New Year's, and, and we're going to try to get it, try to place top four. All right, guys, so now next prediction I had, Denial. Now they played against Justice. All right, so let, they started off in the winner's bracket. Um, I think they placed first or second in their pool, and they got 3 2 by Envy's apparently last map last round round 11 apparently it was map 5 round 11 and they lost to envy and then they dropped down to lb beat justice 3-0 who qualified for the season but i'll go over the season qualified teams in the end and uh then they lost to def to phase map 5 round 11 um that was a really good match to watch as well um two very good teams uh, and then optic nation placed top eight got 3-1 by tk so i mean i believe optic nation is a stronger team than tk granted tk beat them i mean TK came out here and they played their asses off. Like, I didn't expect them to place anywhere near top four. I was just expecting top 16 for them, and they proved me wrong. They proved a lot of people wrong. Looney was a big pickup for them, huge pickup for them. Um, yeah, they definitely proved, proved a lot of people wrong. I mean, they 3 0'd Envy, who, uh, who is, in my opinion, the second strongest team in the game. But, I mean, if you're looking at the, at the, 
the placings like I can't sit here and say that Optic is the strongest team in the game. They didn't win the event. I can't sit here and say that Envy is the second strongest team. Uh, they placed top four, um, or no, they placed top top five, or they, I think they're fifth or sixth. I can't sit here there and say they're the second because they didn't place that. So I mean, before going into this event, I thought Envy was like the second best team. All right, so now let's talk about OG. They did place top four, so I only had one out of four correct. Um, but let's just go over their road. I mean, they three owed prophecy. Uh, they they three owed um, envy. They three two justice. So like, what does that say? Justice is pretty damn good. Um, then let's talk about like phase. Like, Aches. This was a huge event for Aches. It was his first event without TP in I think two years, two or three years. Or he's he's won he won all eighteen of his championships prior to this with TP. Um, so that's crazy. You know, uh, this was a huge event for him. He had a lot to prove, a lot to prove, and a lot of people to prove wrong, saying, like, he couldn't do it without Teep, and he definitely did. He showed up, and Aches had a gouge, I want to say, like, this big on his hand. I don't know if you guys saw it on Twitter, but Aches, he cut his hand on glass, I guess, and he was in the hospital all night before Championship Sunday, and he came out with a messed up hand, a lot of stitches, and he played his ass off. Granted, his stats dropped a little bit because his hand was hurting like a bitch. But that just proves how good Aches actually is. Best player in the game, in my opinion. Um, Slasher got MVP, but I think Aches definitely deserves MVP. He got his 19th championship. Um, and I, let's go over that. I mean, they played Prophecy, and they won 3-2. Prophecy, in my opinion, better SND team. And they, they beat FaZe, or they lost to FaZe. Uh, that's Ricky and Parasite's team. That's one of the strongest SND teams in the game. Um, I can't think of who the other two people are on that team. Um, but, I mean, they're, in my opinion, better. a better SND team, and FaZe beat them. Aches just going off. In every single map I watched, Aches just went off. Then we have the finals. Now, I didn't watch all of the finals because I was watching The Walking Dead. That did take precedence over um, Call of Duty because it's more important to me than Call of Duty. I love The Walking Dead, by the way. Amazing finale. If you guys remember on this channel, I used to review the episodes. Don't do it anymore because it kind of fell off, but um, amazing finale for The Walking Dead, or mid-season finale. Anyway, we're getting off here. <coughs> off topic. The 3-1. I mean, so basically Optic had to play um, two best fives. Uh, had, there, had there been... Uh, had Optic played Phase earlier in winner's bracket, Optic would have only needed to win one best of five, but it was two. They needed to win two. I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. Um, they needed to win two regardless. Each team needed to win two, um, which, you know, might not possi be possible. Actually, you know what? I think Optic only needed to win one then because it, if one team needs, to, if both teams need to win both, then you'd have to play three best of fives, I guess, right? That it does make sense. So... Optic needed to win one, FaZe needed to win two. I'm pretty sure that's how it was. Don't don't get angry at me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but don't get pissed at me. I'm pretty sure Optic needed to win one best of five, and FaZe needed to win two. FaZe comes out, 3-1's Optic. That's huge. Huge, huge, huge. To take it to a best second of five. A, a best second of five. A second best of five. That's huge. And then I watched the second series, or, or part of it. I watched the Uplink, and I watched the S&D um, in the second one. Both of which Optic won. FaZe was up 2-1 over Optic. And, and Optic was losing in the uplink. I said GG. I'm like, they FaZe got another two-pointer to make it 10-5, to five, I believe. And uh, I was like, yo, that's the dagger. That's the dagger. Optic's not coming back from this. And then they came back and won. Yo, like, it's crazy. Um, Krim, just amazing uplink player. And I, I went in this event hating uplink. I thought it was dumb. Didn't think the players should have to play it. And I'm my opinion has completely changed. Such a fun game mode to watch. I'm not sure how it is to play. Such a fun game mode to watch. It's super, super exciting, intense. And we might be seeing Uplink wins championships now. No, I'm just kidding. SND still wins championships. But then it, they went to a game five of SND. Um, and the joke all weekend was that FaZe was playing with a total of, what was it, six thumbs or five thumbs? Six thumbs. No. Five thumbs because you have... Um, Slasher and Apathy with two thumbs apiece. There's four. Aix had one thumb, and Sensor has no thumbs. <laughs> so that was the joke <laughs> the whole weekend. Um, and Sensor showed up in that game five. Uh, 
went huge. It went to round 10, and um, Sensor showed up. Sensor pulled a huge two-piece. I don't know who got the last kill, but it was Nade shot 1v3, I believe, and he got one kill, and then uh, someone killed him. And then Ake said at the end when they were interviewing them after they had won uh, GGs to the other team, and this was also big because... Crim6 was playing Aches. It was his ex-teammate, and they won a shitload of championships together. Not as much as Aches and TP, but Crim definitely, um, this was a huge matchup for him as well. He wanted to prove that he can win without Aches. And, I mean, if you look at the teams, Optic is a better team on paper. Way better team. You got Scum, Formal, and Crim. Um, now everybody's saying a lot of people should drop Nate Shot, like everybody's saying. Drop Nate Shot. Nate Shot's the reason why they lost this event. No. No, 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 no. You can't blame Nade for going second best to five, map 11, round 10. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. Like, this game cannot be won with one person. And granted, Aches wins. Aches is a winner. He's a champion. But, and I think Aches makes teams winning teams. But you cannot blame the loss on Nade shot. It's not Nade's fault. Nade ended up being in 1v multiple people situations a lot and it's hard to clutch those out especially on main stage when you have almost 200,000 people watching you on stream plus the people in the crowd it's 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 crazy it's crazy overall amazing event i really want to go to an event here soon guys i really want to go to a LAN, like really bad just to watch and and cheer on carnage and make some content for you guys that's my goal um i really want to get to an event probably in 2015 i will not be going to Orlando because i think going to an event on a holiday is pretty dumb uh i wouldn't do it i can't leave my family like that i, I can't do it i actually did the outro to the video already and i forgot to mention the pool play teams so the pool play teams or not the pool play teams sorry guys this is the teams that qualified for season one um and i'll do this very briefly there was already eight teams qualified for the first season. That was Optic Gaming, Optic Nation, FaZe, Denial, Envious, Rise. Oh, wait, so Optic Gaming, Optic Nation, FaZe, Denial, Envy, Rise, and who was the other? Noble. Um, who qualified? There was four teams to qualify. Prophecy qualified. It's huge for them. Automatic Reload qualified. That's Burns Office team and uh, BL Fire. Um aware qualified that's huge for them because that they were the previous noble squad and they kind of got screwed out of their season spot so they got the win that was big and justice which i think is going to be most wanted i'm not entirely 100 percent sure about that that's mochila and enables team um wow so yeah there's the teams for you guys big big props to those four teams that qualified and this season is going to be amazing and i can't wait for the next season playoff so four more teams could get into the league. I love seeing teams rotate. I hate seeing the same teams over and over and over again. So I'm hoping that four new teams qualify. Not the exact, not four brand new teams, but like, um, like I'm not hoping that these four guys get rele relegated. Uh, these four new ones, like maybe, you know, Rise misses out or Denial misses out or someone misses out. Because online is completely different than land. That's all I have to say. Now I'll do my outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the event in the comment section below. My name is Josh. Subscribe if you're new. And follow me on Twitter because I talk about Call of Duty all the time. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys later.